Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, it's nothing grandiose. There wasn't a whole lot going on in my store still, but I want to share something with you. So let's get to it. First of all, although I have to tell you, I ran into a friend, her name is Brenda, and she's a subscriber on the channel. Here we are. And I want to say, hey, you got to leave me some comments down below so I know who you are. And we have Miss Happy Pants here today. Yes, this is Luna. She is Sarah's dog. I'm the cat lady. This is the dog. Although Alex is bigger than her, just in case. She only weighs, I think, 12 pounds and Alex is pushing 20. He's big. All right, can I let you down now? Give me a kiss. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Let's get to it. No particular order. I picked up one of these. And I will tell you, these are fun. It's just the mailbox. We see them all the time. But I'm going to wrap a present in it. So this year, we're going with less packaging and more like putting multiple things in here and then wrapping it up. And I want to do some fun gift wrap ideas that I've been seeing on Instagram. So I thought, well, this is a fun little package for some stuff that I bought. So I grabbed that and then I picked up, I'm still trying to find something to go into that Target glass uh, toboggan or toque, depending on where you're from. And I'm going to try putting the snowman. I want it to be winter, not necessarily Christmas because I have plenty of Christmas decor. But this fun little snowman is just made out of styrofoam, real lightweight. So I think it might work because even if it's down to, even if it goes deeper in there, it's still cute at the top. So we got that to try. And then I also picked up this to try inside, but I think this might be too big, but I like it anyway. I think that is really pretty and I think it would be pretty under a cloche of some sort and it's just plastic but I like it so if it doesn't work in that I will put it in something else um I picked up a dry brush now I don't use this for dry brushing because I'm not even I mean I know what it is but I don't know the point of it scratching my skin when I'm hi when I'm already dry. it's just not for you she is literally trying to get up here between the legs here what I use these dry brushes for is my laundry. And I like this one because it's plastic. I have a wooden one in there now, but it gets moist. Um, but what I do is I use it to rub on stains. So it's not overly harsh that it's going to pill up the fabric. So what I do is I put down like whatever spray and wash or something. And then I use that to scrub it and it, it's been working great. So I do keto, if you don't know, and I tend to eat stuff with like fat in it or oils. And if I get it on my clothing, it stains, but this will do the trick. I replace it every couple months just because they get wet, but I'm hoping this plastic one will do a little better. So let me get this glitter off my desk. <laughs> oh, I have a mess going on here. Then I found this. Now they've had these out before and I feel like they came out a lot in the men's section as a toiletry bag. But I liked the color. It's rubbery, so I feel like it's waterproof. But it's just a makeup bag. But you know, traveling or any type of crafting, like this would be great to hold a little small knitting project, a little anything really. The inside has like it feels almost like a t-shirt material, but then it's adhered to this outside plastic. So it feels decent quality. I will probably use this when I travel. I think it would make a very nice electronics bag to hold all my charging cables and stuff. Or it would actually hold, um, you know, like shampoos, conditioners, anything like that. But I thought I really liked this pattern. So, and I love bags. I know. It's in the trash. Um, then I picked up this. It is a nail art stamp. Um, they didn't have the nail art kits, but I'm assuming that they will get them or I just missed them. 
since we have time, I'm just going to show you all these things. And I might give this off to Sarah. But what you do, it, what it is, is it's that silicone right here. Have you ever seen where they put nail polish on it? And then you point it in and you can make French tips. That's kind of why I got it. Um, but what you can also do is um, if you have one of those metal cards and you put a little nail polish in it and you stick this in there, this picks up the nail polish and then you stamp it onto your finger. I just thought it was fun to have with my nail polish kit. I'm not sure what this, well, I guess, oh, this piece here. So when you put the, the nail polish onto that metal stencil, you use that to smooth it out and then you pick up the polish with this. I just thought it was fun and I hadn't seen anything like that before at my Dollar Tree and I wanted to share it with you. I know I'm, everything is on the floor beside me. All right, what did we get? Oh, for my desk at work, I got these. These are great, especially if you have an outlet on your desk. These are just 20 lights and it's like just a cup. It says it's five feet. I'm not buying that it's five feet long. Um, I mean, I guess if you stretched it out, but anyway, what are you doing down there, Lumi? My computer monitor is going bonkers behind me. Weird. Anyway, five feet. And they work. I use them all the time. I grabbed them from my desk at work. Oh, and then I found some fun crafty stuff, guys. Look at these. So I've got my wood burner out, and I'm going to try it on some of these. But this is just a slice of wood, and it's a sign. How fun is that? We're going to shut my computer down because I'm not really sure exactly what's happening over there. Right? So I got two in this shape. And then look at these. So these are like the ornaments, but they're bigger. You can paint on these. And this is real. It's real wood. So I grabbed those for crafting purposes. And then they had out the blank. These are just blank. Like, you know, they make these signs all the time, but these are in the arts and crafts section and it's all blank. You can put on here whatever you want with your Cricut or markers or paint or whatever. And they had all different sizes and shapes of that. So I thought that was really cool for crafting because that's what I do. I've been getting my wood burner out and I'm making all kinds of fun stuff with it. Um, if you're on my uh, Facebook group, I usually share over there what I do crafty wise if I don't share it on here. Um, one second. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, this is just a mess in that bag. I picked up, they had them. These are the Arm & Hammer puppy pads. So I got the Dollar Tree ones and they tend to, the water pee went through. I got them for twofold. Number one, whenever I take Alex in his carrier, he gets scared and he has an accident. So need that to stop. And Wellington, my old man, has been having some accidents on rugs or purposes. I'm not really sure. But so I've been putting this on the rug that he seems to have found. He's 15 and has never had an indoor bathroom problem. But all of a sudden, he has found this rug. And if I move the rug, then he went and found a different rug. So I've been putting these down and they work great. Uh, just, you know, he's old and probably senile. Who the heck knows? I'm assuming he has dementia like the rest of us. And then I picked up some rubber gloves because you gotta protect your nails, guys, and my hands. It's winter time and hands get dry. And I got a package in the mail. I just don't have it with me. So I will say thank you. You know who sent me a package, but I will show it and talk about it in the next video. Uh, but I need these to clean house, you know. I replace them regularly. But I try to use those to keep my hands my hands from getting extra dry. Um, I found this. Do I need another mug? Absolutely not. Am I going to use this mug? Yes. And only because it says hot cocoa served here. And I'm thinking it'll look really cute on my charcuterie board with some candy canes in it. And we'll serve hot chocolate. And I just thought, 
I'm not gonna use it to drink out of. I'm using it as like a decor piece with maybe spoons, candy canes, something like that. But it is also nice. It's printed on both sides, which I think is fantastic. So I got one of those. And just to show you, I do use these Dollar Tree mugs. This one is the one with the, bu the bumpy nose that I haven't seen anymore. They have the flat nose and this one's a little bigger, but I drink coffee out of it all the time. Please. All right, we just have a couple more things down here. Eh, eh. Um, I picked up this to also see if it'll fit inside of the snow hat. Now this is just cardboard. I mean, I think they're adorable, but it, it definitely is not an ornament that's going to stand the test of time. But if it will fit inside of my snowman hat, then that would be great. I picked this up. It was hanging on a end cap. And it's a magnet picture frame. I think what I would like to do is, oh, and that's even glass in there, is take the back off. I want to spray paint this black because this just doesn't go with my color scheme in my kitchen. I'm going to paint it black or bright yellow and hang it, put it on my refrigerator with pictures in it. I just think it's cute. I like it. It's a little like, um, caption blurb thingy and I, I'm assuming it's for like teenagers to go in their locker which obviously you could do that if you wanted but I want to put it in my kitchen um treats these are back out if you have little dogs in your life Luna loves these they're just exactly what the picture shows they are little tiny dog bones and I mean like tiny little dog bones for your little dogs and this is a decent sized package for her. This is two and a half ounces, but I mean, there's maybe 20 or 30 treats in here and that's great for her. I give her two or three at a time. So I have a couple of these at the house, but she really likes them. And I think they're festive. I love festive treats, right? We can do our thumbnail. All right, come here, come on, come on. Do you want to come up here? No. She hears me with her treats. Come here. We'll come. I will pick you up. I gotcha. Okay. We'll do a thumbnail with Looney and her treats. Oh, we should we have to show your treats, sis. It's for you, but I have one open downstairs. I also, she hides her bones. It's a problem around this house. And I um, bought her a big bone a couple months ago or about a month ago. We can't find it. But she goes crazy if the cats go anywhere near where she thinks she hid it. But she didn't hide it there. So I can't find it. Ugh, crazy. All right. And I just grabbed one of these again for some more. Oh, I love these boxes. Like, that is just so fun inside. The, the detail. For $1.25, the detail is there. They have them every year. Um, and again, I'm just wrapping packages in some more pretty stuff this year. Since the amount of packages I'm buying is less, I really want to make them fancy. Um, I just got some ornament hooks because I know I'm going to need them when I decorate my tree because I need them every year. Also for Wellington, I grabbed a couple, I think there's two here, yeah, of these little tiny litter pans just to put in different places in the house because I think he is forgetting, um, he's forgetting where they are and we don't need that. So hang tight for a second because my computer is not happy and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. So we're going to restart. I'm sitting at my desk. I'm done with work, but I'm sitting at my desk. Um, I found some stocking stuff. If you have any girls, women in your life, I think these are so fun. Um, this one is a mirror and it says doing my best. And it's just a double, double sided mirror, but they had all coordinating. And then this is just a, um, beauty blender that comes in its own little case which I think is great and a little manicure set so there's a nail file in here a cuticle pusher and a toenail deal 
I mean, these are great. A little kit, a little beauty accessory that they all came in coordinating colors. Um, I, I got them for me because I don't have anybody that needs these in my life, but I love these little small nail files. I put them in my car and they're great. So we did that. And then the last two things I got, um, these, they come out every year, but this one, the fur is different this year. It's more of a fleece and not a fur. They're little gift card holders, but honestly, I'll show you. Let's take them out of their packaging. I'm going to use them on the top of some packages and then put some candy in them, like candy cane or something. So when I do my gift wrapping, I'm going to attach these to the top of the package um, and put maybe a candy cane or some little candies in them. But you can also put like gift cards in these with some candy. But yeah, this is a little different. It's almost like teddy bear fur in here. And I like the buffalo check. I also could put this in my bedroom next to my Christmas tree or hang it off my Christmas tree because it matches and I have a little tiny tree in my bedroom. And then the last thing I just picked, I picked up were just some of these. Um, I like these for outdoor. So they are plastic yes it's glitter but they're plastic and I'm hanging or not hanging but I'm leaning a sled outside and I got some greenery and I'm going to use this as the bow just in case it gets any moisture on them they don't you know they may fade in the sun but they're not going to get gross and they're not going to lose their shape if it gets rained on or a little windy so um I grabbed a two pack of these because this is the perfect size and that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I, like I said, I went to like four different stores. There just wasn't a lot of options for me. It's okay. I know that it's going to happen. They're going to put the stuff on the shelves. Everybody's just short staffed. And so just trying to be patient. Um, but I am going to other stores. So I will be sharing that with you because I need to get ready for Christmas. <laughs> and I do have a DIY 